Hey, this is Steve from Unexplored Films. Today I have a new tutorial for you. How to remove a wedding photographer from a wedding video. Now this will be something that a lot of wedding videographers run into quite a lot. I do not personally shoot weddings most of the time, I find them too stressful and I'm happy to leave them to the experts, but this one was my own wedding video. I hired some very good videographers to shoot this for me and then I was happy to edit it. Now as anyone who's been to a wedding will probably have noticed, both the stills photographer and the videographer have an incredibly difficult job. They are essentially expected to capture the entire day from start to finish absolutely perfectly from multiple angles all whilst not getting in each other's shots. Now we had a fantastic stills photographer and a fantastic video crew covering our wedding, but there was one key moment where the stills photographer had to get behind me and my best man quickly in order to get good shots of my bride coming down the aisle to meet me. And this just happened to be exactly the same moment that my best man tells me to turn around and look at her. So for the video I tried to go a bit George Lucas with this and remove the stills photographer from the shots of me turning round. Now this process only worked because both angles were were shot on a tripod and the camera wasn't moving very much. So if you're going to try this with a handheld shot, I sincerely wish you luck, let me know how you get on. So because the camera wasn't moving, the first thing I realised that I could do was actually build a blank background without anybody. And I was able to do that in Photoshop by looking for a couple of moments where nobody was in certain parts of the frame at certain times. So. I was able to create a composite where there was no one standing in front of the altar. Tricky thing here was the shadows because there were so many light sources, but in the end I managed to come up with something that kind of looked like nobody was standing there. So we've got our blank background. Next I dropped that into After Effects over the original footage. This island here with the pink mask around it, that is a still sitting on top of the video. I also managed to get this candle showing through just by cutting a hole in the mask in case the candle gave away the fact that it was a still image. And then onto that we can then drop a layer with me, the groom, and a layer with the best man. So I cut those out using the mask tool and then just dropped us back on top of the still. So here's my layer and as you can see I've, I've been careful just to keep this right next to my shoulder here because that's where the photographer walks past. The rest of it's less important. I'm also keeping my shadows here at the bottom because I'm moving around. So that's my layer which now sits on top of the still image. Next we need the best man, so here's the best man's angle. Again I'm trying to keep it as close as I can to his shoulder and anywhere where it's a safe area I can of course leave that in as well. And again a little patch there for the shadows on the floor. So those are our two layers sitting on top of the still background layer. And then behind the still image is the original video, the parts where it doesn't matter if it's showing through. There were a few little shadow problems here at the bottom that I couldn't do anything about but hopefully you're not really going to be looking at those, you're going to be looking at our reactions. So once I knew this was going to work, I then repeated the process with the other angle, which was actually slightly harder. So once again, I built up a still image just from various moments where there was nobody in this gap right here in the aisle. So I had to drop this in over the top and cut a hole in it here for the best man's leg because he's still moving there. But the rest of it, including this lectern, is actually a still image. And these people here, just this little section of the congregation here, also has to be a still image. Basically anything I could get away with as video, obviously I wanted to keep as video because there's some moving elements here that your eye is going to be drawn to. And again we have some phantom shadows here on the floor which I couldn't quite get rid of just because it was going to get too complicated with our feet and honestly life's too short. So you can tinker with this as much as you want if it's on a tripod but for me I was happy with, with this. So that's pretty much it. It is a combination of the original footage underneath for the parts that can be used, then a still and then any masked elements that you you need to add back in on top. So this is now the finished result and there you have it. There is a clean version of me, the groom, turning around to see the bride coming towards me without the photographer visible and yet we also got the benefit of those lovely stills down the aisle and we were very happy with both our stills and our video. So if you enjoyed this please like, share and subscribe. Share it with your wedding videographer friends. I've been Steve from Unexplored Films, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.